Hey guys, this effect is called Mind Reach. It's one of my personal favorites to perform live because it's extremely easy. It's actually completely self-working and it gets amazing reactions. To start out, I'll just show you the deck real quick. And the faces of the cards. Performing this live, I'd get my spectator to shuffle the deck, but since I don't have a spectator, I'll just shuffle it up myself. Keep in mind, this is completely impromptu which means that it can use any deck of cards with no gimmicks and no setup. You can even use a borrowed deck if your spectator happens to have a deck of cards in them. I think that's enough shuffling. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cards and spread them out over the table like this. And doing this, you'd explain to your spectator that you think they just might be psychic. And to prove this to them, you're going to name out any cards that just happen to come to your head and you want them to touch their finger on whatever they think that card is. And you can do this for multiple spectators and have them each select a card, but we're going to do this like we only have one spectator. I'm going to write down all of our selections. First, I think I'm going to have us select the five of clubs. And my spectator can touch any card they want. Let's say that they want this one. We'll pull it out and set it aside. You write down five of clubs. Next, I think we should get a red card selected. How about the Four of Hearts? My spectator can touch any card they want. Let's say that they want this one. We'll pull that one out and set it aside. Write down Four of Hearts. I think we should get a Court card next. Let's get the King of Hearts. My spectator can touch any card they want. Let's say that they want this one. And we'll write down the King of Hearts. Next, I think we should get an Ace because everyone loves Aces. How about the Ace of Clubs? Once again, my spectator can touch any card they want. Let's say that they want this one, and we'll set that aside. Write down Ace of Clubs. Now for this final card, I'm going to select it, because I'm also psychic, and I just kind of want to show you guys that, and I'm going to select the final card. I think I'm going to select the Queen of Hearts. You know, who doesn't love the lovely ladies? And I think the Queen of Hearts is right here, definitely. Pull her out, set her aside. Let's get all of these out of the way. So I have our five selected cards written down. And let's see how psychic we really are. The first spectator selected card that we had was the five of clubs. And what do you know? He got that one right. But it could have been lucky because, you know, everyone can get lucky. His second card was the Four of Hearts, but he actually got that one right. Maybe he really is psychic. That's two for two. His third one was the King of Hearts, and once again, he got it right. Looks like our spectator is psychic, and that it isn't just luck. Our fourth and final spectator selection was the Ace of Clubs, and our spectator must be psychic because four of four, they got that one right too. But am I psychic? Because, believe it or not, even on really bad days, I sometimes will miss a card. But luckily, today is not one of those days because I got my selection right, the Queen of Hearts. Now, if you didn't catch on to how I was doing that, I will make a tutorial for this trick as my next video. Like I said, it is completely impromptu. It can even use a borrowed deck. There are no marked cards or anything. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time.